My family health history, um, as far as cardio goes, is my dad had a triple bypass surgery and a heart valve replacement when he was about 70 years old. Ever since I was in grade school, I've, I've um, exercised my heart and I've continued to running through college and my working career and, and uh, still enjoy running to this day. Fortunately, his company has a nurse assistant that actually will set up the appointments with the doctors. So she set him up to see Dr. Bates and he went in, had the stress test. I was coming down the elevator and um, I was stopped by one of the internists. He told me, I have this case that uh, is quite not making sense to me. So I say, how so? He's like, well, uh, this guy is an athlete. He was able to exercise 13 minutes in the treadmill. He had no chest pain whatsoever, uh, but the EKG component was abnormal. I got the results from the CT scan that showed that there was calcium in my arteries. After this CT scan, I met with Dr. Plana and he said that there's another non-invasive medical test and it's, it's called the heart flow. I was very surprised when I saw the heart flow analysis showing evidence of triple vessel coronary artery disease for somebody that the night before had been jogging six miles in his neighborhood. The results of what the test showed us was, um, I mean, it was there, it was red and blue. Seeing the heart flow analysis showed me a picture. So it was, oh my gosh, this is, my arteries and this is the blockage inside my arteries and it's, um, it's an issue that I have to take care of. So I immediately t uh, asked him to uh, stop running and then um, I asked one of my colleagues to perform a cardiac catheterization the next day. Well, Dr. Silver ran the test and he goes and he had to stop midway because your husband has major blockage in his arteries and he goes, we need to do a quadruple bypass. Okay, now I have to let the boys know and then I have to let my mother-in-law know and that was, I think that was the hardest was because we had just lost my, okay, we had just lost my father-in-law a month before and the heart flow test literally saved his life because no other test would have been done had that result not been seen. He was asymptomatic, just the epitome of fit and healthy. And then to, to find out that he wasn't um, until we saw that heart flow test result. I can say that in this particular case, the image that I got out of the heart flow report is one where an image was worth a thousand words. Without heart flow, I'm not sure I'd be standing here today. I'd been able to return to all my normal activities of running, playing golf, uh, taking walks with my wife, and there's nothing slowing me down. So my uh, goal is to run the Houston Half Marathon in January, and I'm very much looking forward to that.